Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you how to properly enter bills in QuickBooks Desktop 2019. Okay, uh, QuickBooks 2019 just recently came out, um, and there are some new features, a couple changes. Uh, nothing huge, but I do want to go through, uh, if you're starting out with QuickBooks 19, 2019, how to properly enter a bill. Okay. So in QuickBooks, when you're keeping your books in your business, uh, you want to make sure that you use the enter bills function and then the pay bills function. Uh, this is important, uh, not only so you can track what bills you have and what bills need to be paid and when, uh, but also uh, so that you get accurate uh, financial statements. Okay. Uh, and so let's go first. Uh, if you're not familiar with the layout of QuickBooks, you'll see this uh, flow chart here. You have an option right here. Let me get that off the screen that says enter bills. You can choose that or you can go to the vendors drop down menu and click enter bills. Okay. So we're going to go enter bills. All right. So first of all, you're going to choose your, your vendor. Okay, so this is a sample file. So we're going to say CU Electric. And this is very important here. You want to put in the date of the bill. Okay, it's going to default to today's date, but you want to make sure that you change that. Okay, so let's say that you actually, you know, the date on the bill is November 30th. You're going to put in November 30th. Okay, this makes sure that you get this expense in the right time period. Okay, the second component here that is really important is the reference number. Okay, this is going to be the invoice number uh, or, you know, some other signifying number on that invoice. Usually it's going to be an invoice number that you want to enter. So let's say it's one, two, three, four, five. Now, why is this important to put this in? This is because oftentimes vendors will, you know, you know, payments will cross in the mail and they'll send another invoice or maybe they'll bill twice for it, you know, whatever, send two invoices. So when you put this in and when you save it and it's in QuickBooks, the next time if you get another bill from CU Electric with the same invoice number and you enter it, QuickBooks will alert you to say, hey, you already have an invoice from CU Electric with this number. And that way it, it'll help you catch if you're going to enter and pay a duplicate bill. Okay. All right. So the next thing we want to put in the amount, Let's say it's 5231. Okay. And you're going to put in the due date. So let's say that this is due 1215. All right. You can also down here, change the terms, uh, depending on the terms from that vendor. Okay. And if there is a discount, let's say it's 2% 10 net 30, it's going to tell you, hey, you need to pay this by December 10th to get this discount. All right. So the next thing you want to do is down here, since this is a current expense, you're going to put it to the appropriate account. Uh, this is utilities, gas, and electric. And then you're going to hit save and close. Okay. And you'll see here it says you've changed the terms for CU Electric. Uh, do you want to make it permanent, i.e., will it go to the vendor setup? We're going to say no. All right. And there you go. You entered a bill, and that's the right way to do it. So the, the couple of important points there, put in the date of the bill, not the date you receive it, and also make sure you put in that invoice number. And, of course, you want to put it to the right account. All right. Hopefully this helped. Uh, for full QuickBooks training, head on over to QuickBooks University. Uh, and also check out the rest of our videos on, on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, the website is qbuniversity.org.